this is it guys the new panel beside the old what a difference in size uh, this one here is a 100 watt this one here is a 300 watt so I'm tripling my tripling my uh, wattage at least and I've got a friend next door that's gonna give me a hand we're gonna put it up on the on the roof we'll get it up there and then I can mark everything I'm gonna use just tape again uh, the 3m VHB tape the very high bond last one held so good that I, I had a hard time getting it off so anyways we'll go with that this time again and uh, should be all right I hope anyway these are the mounts that I'm gonna use it's gonna be a challenge but we'll go from there and we'll see what we can do all right so what I thought I'd do is take the drone up to uh, show you what the top looks like and how big this uh, solar panel really is. I didn't get any footage of the actual install, putting the tape down and, and getting it all. It took, uh, I, I would say, the better part of an afternoon, the whole afternoon, to take the old ones off and put the new one on it's just uh the new one is just massive and i was just up there myself trying to get it organized and and i i took the brackets uh first of all i put it the brackets on the solar panel and put it down marked where they were going to go and then took the brackets off the panel and mounted the brackets on the roof and then mounted the panel onto the brackets after the fact uh, it was the only way i could think of doing it because part of the bracket is actually underneath and I couldn't get at it so here's a shot of my old panel so you can see what the difference in size is uh, a third so the new panel is uh, not quite in the center and the reason being is uh, on the left hand side in the top left corner there is uh, where the wires go in inside the van there's a hole there and there was an old um, TV antenna bracket there that uh, the, the mount would, would hit up against so it had to be over to the side like that it can't be right in the center so and it uh, from front to back it's as far back as it can go just about uh, with that black uh, spot on the bottom left corner uh, that's a vent for the bathroom <clears throat> the the mount would hit that so I have to stay right where it is is the, and that's the biggest panel I can fit on there so that's a 300 watt panel they make a 330 that I've seen and, and bigger but the 330 was actually even longer so it wouldn't have fit uh, this is 65 inches by 39 inches so it's it's quite large and my other one I don't know what the measurements are I never measured it out but uh, you could see the size there uh, of what how small the other one is it's only 100 watt so now I have power to spare more or less I've, I've act finally got enough power that I can run whatever I need uh, by the time I get up in the morning the, the uh, batteries are already fully charged on a nice sunny day uh, which it is here on a nice sunny day and it, it's uh, powering up um, I've got well over 13 volts uh, by eight nine o'clock it's perfect for the rest of the day and then in, uh, the evening is when I use most of my power I find that I have to uh, charge everything up during the day when it's as it's continually charging so I don't use up my power at night uh, and I have two batteries, two 12-volt batteries that uh, I'm getting the supply of voltage from. So 
I don't think a third one's going to help me too much more. So there you have it. The new panel is installed. And a shot from North Vancouver to the uh, East Vancouver side.